We're going to take a look at the anterior pituitary hormones. These are all of the anterior pituitary hormones. Most of these are tropic hormones, meaning that they're going to go to another endocrine gland and tell that endocrine gland which hormone to secrete, but not all of them are tropic hormones. I do want you to memorize all of these. Know that they are secreted by the anterior pituitary, and then also know where they're going, what their target is, and what action they have at that target cell. And so we'll be going through and talking about these as we go through. And all of these are protein hormones, so they're all going to be hydrophilic. Remember that the hypothalamus controls which hormones that the anterior pituitary will release or not release. So up here on the top, we've got the hypothalamic hormones and then they will travel through the portal system to the anterior pituitary and then tell the anterior pituitary which hormones to release or not release. And then here are the targets of the anterior pituitary hormones. So some of these anterior pituitary hormones are tropic hormones, meaning that they will travel to another endocrine gland like the anterior pituitary hormone TSH will travel to the thyroid gland and tell the thyroid gland to release its hormone, thyroid hormones. But you can see the anterior pituitary hormone prolactin is not tropic because it'll travel to the mammary gland and does not tell the mammary gland to release any hormone. It just tells the mammary gland to make some milk. And then this is just a, a nice picture just showing the blood connection between the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary. You've got that portal system there. And then this is just nice just showing the different anterior pituitary hormones here. And then also just showing the targets where they go. And then we'll talk about their actions here next. So I, I like to draw these out, and if you practice drawing these out at home, and you can do this without looking at your notes eventually, you can answer any question I ask on these. So we start up here at the top with the hypothalamus, because remember the hypothalamus is pretty much in charge of the endocrine system. And then right below that, I've written out all of the hypothalamic hormones. And then remember that hypothalamic hormones will travel through the portal system to the anterior pituitary. And then they will tell the anterior pituitary which hormones to release or not release. And then down here I've written all of the anterior pituitary hormones. So the way you remember those is if you remember flat pig. So if you remember flat pig, those are all of the anterior pituitary hormones. So the F is FSH or follicle stimulating hormone. And then we have L for luteinizing hormone or LH. And then the A is ACTH or adrenocorticotropic hormone. T is TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. And then the P is prolactin, and then we just have to add an I in there to spell pig. So, and then the G is growth hormone. Okay, so let's just talk about three of these right now, and then we'll talk about the other three a little bit later in another lecture. All right, so let's just follow our pathway here and talk about FSH and LH, these two anterior pituitary hormones. So it's all going to start up here at the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is going to secrete GnRH, which stands for gonadotropin releasing hormone. And remember the gonads are the ovaries and the testes. So GnRH actually does not go to the gonads but it's going to go to the anterior pituitary. 
which is going to tell the anterior pituitary to release FSH and LH. So FSH in women will travel to the ovaries and the name follicle stimulating hormone. It's going to tell the ovaries to stimulate the follicle growth and the follicle is just the, the egg. Okay, so the eggs will start to grow at the beginning of the menstrual cycle. And then FSH will also stimulate the ovaries to make some estrogen as well. And in men, FSH will go to the testes. And because men don't have eggs, they have sperm instead, it will stimulate sperm development instead. And then the other thing that GnRH will do is tell the anterior pituitary to release LH. And in women, LH goes to the ovaries. And there will be an LH surge in the middle of the menstrual cycle. And that LH surge will cause ovulation. So it causes the release of the egg. And then LH will also stimulate the ovaries to produce estrogen and progesterone. And then in men, LH will go to the testes and stimulate the testes to produce testosterone. Okay, and then let's take a look at prolactin over here. So we're going to start up here at the hypothalamus and we've got two hypothalamic hormones. We have prolactin releasing hormone and prolactin inhibiting hormone, which is the same thing as dopamine. So if we want to tell the anterior pituitary to release prolactin, we're going to have the hypothalamus secrete prolactin releasing hormone. And if we don't want to release prolactin, then it would secrete prolactin inhibiting hormone. So let's say that we want it to release prolactin. Hypothalamus would secrete prolactin releasing hormone into the portal system. We would take the PRH to the anterior pituitary. That would tell the anterior pituitary to release prolactin. Prolactin will travel to the mammary glands and that will stimulate the mammary glands to produce milk. Okay, this last thing is really important. Remember that one of the ways that the body maintains homeostasis is to use negative feedback. So negative feedback is used a lot by the body as a way to maintain homeostasis. So it is definitely used by the endocrine system to maintain the hormone levels in homeostasis and make sure that they stay in the normal range. So we're gonna see this as we go through and look at different hormones that you'll see these negative feedback loops where you'll have a hormone feeding back onto the anterior pituitary we're onto the hypothalamus, and that'll inhibit the release of the hypothalamic hormone and the anterior pituitary hormones, and that will keep their levels in the normal range. So that's a really important idea, is we're gonna control our hormone levels using negative feedback.